Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech, and today we are taking apart a random SSD. So this is just a random SSD that was at our Oracle place, and it doesn't work properly. It's pretty much a bad SSD that we were about to throw away, and I suddenly realized that I never opened myself an SSD. Now, I actually brought some screwdrivers that were supposed to fit. Actually, those star screws were supposed to fit uh, to those screws, but they don't. So, what I'm about to do now is actually try to sort of break the SSD cover to see what's inside and take a look. Now, I'm not really sure with which tools we will be able to break it, but let's go ahead and start with some flat screwdrivers and who knows? Maybe we will still be able to open that thing. Kinda doubt it right now, but I don't know, maybe. And yeah, I should be careful about why we, about my hands. So yeah, that's not exactly what I wanted to show, but I think we can break at least part of it. Yeah, seems so. Let's try to actually break it. Again, I should be more careful about my fingers, but I guess I'll be alright that way. Okay. I want to go a little bit deeper to see where actually the PCB ends, at least. And I think I won't be able to do that. No, we're actually almost at the end of the PCB. Okay, we're actually in, after breaking it. How great. Now, I wonder if we can actually take apart the PCB? No, we won't be able. Those are pretty much the same screws. Same two screws that I have no way to get into. So, let me at least try to get you closer and you'll see better what's going on inside that SSD. Okay, seems it's pretty much the best that I can focus from a little bit distance. So we can see that here is pretty much our memory chip. This is pretty much the SSD itself. Uh, we have some diodes, some other circuit stuff. Well, basically it's a very simple SSD, I would say. And as you can see, it's totally not taking the amount it should take. And if we'll try to look closely, I'm not really sure that I'll be able to focus on that. Oh yeah, I can. So, it tries Samsung, and let's see what can we actually understand from it. Pretty much nothing, I mean, it's just a chip that has its name, and that's pretty much it. You won't be able to actually find anything else here, I guess. And it's pretty much the closest that I can seriously get. Uh, it doesn't seem that I can get any closer. As you can see, those are the screws that I couldn't unscrew and the screw you would see better that already ruined it for good. And well, yeah, we have some other chips here. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the closest look that I can give you from that thing. Um, yeah, so 
what I want to do actually is to see if there is something on the other side and I believe there is. For that I'll have to break the circuit board probably, the PCB. So let me try to actually probably take this screwdriver and see if we can break it as gentle as possible. Yeah, probably not. I'm trying to break it where the screw is, but it's probably, yeah, okay. And the problem is that the thing that I want to show is actually this chip on the other side. And as you can see, if I'll break it from this side, I'll have to probably break the thing itself as well. So yeah, I'm trying to go as slowly and as, you know, not to break it, but okay, I've got it. So yeah, so now we can have a PCB itself and let's turn around and see what's here. Oh, wow, we can actually see much more chips. To be honest, I didn't expect that. So let's try to take a closer look and see what's written in them. So this is pretty much the same chip, it's pretty much the other side of that one that we saw there. And we have another one here, which is some sort of different chip. Again, I cannot understand from its name what's going on here, I mean, how much that I can contain, how much of gigs or anything. And it seems that the same goes for that one as well. So yeah, so <laughs> this one have in total four chips well there are some smaller ones i believe those are the controllers seriously i cannot get closer but that's a whole ssd it's not that big thing that you see that barely fits inside our lens right now so that's the whole ssd that's it i mean seriously there's nothing else to it so the ssd is pretty much a bigger version of an sd card seriously it's pretty much the same thing. Those ones got bigger and those ones are actually the base model for that. So pretty much the SSD was created on those things. Pretty much the same idea goes. Now if I would break something like that, I would pretty sure that I would see something similar to those chips. Now again, I'm not a professional. I'm not going to tell you which chip is what, but to be honest, if you will actually put those model numbers on those chips, you could actually get all the info about them online. So that's pretty much convenient and you can get on the info. But again, that's not what we are here. We're here just to see what, what's inside an SSD without actually going to too much details. Now that SSD again was already broken. I was about actually to throw it to the garbage and then I realized that I could just open it and show you guys what's inside an SSD because I did once show you what's in a hard drive, how a hard drive works, and that's pretty much how an SSD works. It's just chips, there's nothing mechanical, and that's one of the reasons that it's much faster than any hard drive. So, obviously now that thing will go to the garbage, but from now on, you'll know how an SSD looks inside. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one!